Tonight, another lawsuit filed against Little Rock Police Chief Keith Humphrey, and this one also names the mayor. Charles Starks has now filed the fourth lawsuit against the chief in just over a month. Good evening, and thanks for joining us for Fox 16 News. I'm Kevin Kelly. I'm Donna Terrell. You might remember Starks was fired by the chief, then got his job back after a judge ruled he was wrongfully fired over a shooting that was justified. Our Susan O'Corey live tonight with details on this lawsuit. Susan. Donna and Kevin, this lawsuit covering a lot of ground. It's 20 pages long and lays out all of the issues Officer Stark says he's had with the police chief and the mayor. It boils down to him saying both have retaliated against him because of that deadly shooting, and now he wants to be paid damages. For just over a year, Keith Humphrey has been Little Rock's police chief. Now a new lawsuit claims days after being sworn into office, Humphrey started retaliating against Officer Charles Starks. The mayor and the chief have had an agenda. Starks' lawyer, Robert Newcomb, speaks for his client. Is the city going to have your back or are they going to throw you under the damn bus if somebody tries to kill you and you have to use deadly force to protect yourself? Their lawsuit claims everything points back to February 2019 when Starks fired his weapon, killing a black man. That same day, the suit claims Mayor Frank Scott Jr. asked if Starks could be fired and later rushed the police department investigation in order to fire Officer Starks as soon as possible. Two months later in April, Humphrey was sworn in as the new police chief. Just three days later, this letter was sent from the Pulaski County Prosecutor to Humphrey, saying Starks' use of force was justified. In May, Starks was fired from the department. He fought that decision and lost to the city's Civil Service Commission. But before his time was up to appeal, Humphrey sent this letter to the state, saying Starks exhausted his appeals and should be decertified as an officer. At a minimum, it shows incompetence. Starks did appeal and was ultimately reinstated in January 2020 as an officer by a circuit court judge. Since he's been back to work, Newcomb says Starks keeps being retaliated against. And I had to threaten a second time to sue him when he was working in accreditation. Everybody had a car but him. The lawsuit asks for damages and asks for both Humphrey and Scott to personally pay the bill, not taxpayers. And I did reach out to both the police chief and the mayor. Both declined to comment. A spokeswoman for the mayor tells me she believes the mayor hasn't seen the lawsuit and also hasn't been served. Live in Little Rock, Susan Corey, back to you.